Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis. This is just going to be a quick run through of Zur because I know this is late on a Saturday after he's been here for a day, but as we were waiting for past 30 some odd hours or so, um, we did get our day one clear, so I've actually got my emblem, but I wanted to cover this stuff for you guys. Uh, first off, Cold Heart. It is an exotic trace rifle, very good for certain classes if you don't own this thing. It's actually quite cool, for sure, pick this one up. For the Hunters, you've got a 59. I mean, yeah, it's got mobility and resilience, and it's based on melee and strength for a hunter, but still, it's a 59. If you don't own it, you can experiment, but stat roll, not amazing. For the Titans, you've got Worm God Caress. It's a 63, pretty overall meh stat roll because it's melee and it's a Titan. You want resilience and strength to be better, and they're not. But if you don't have it, you can at least see how it works if you've got plenty of shards. Karnstein Armlets, though, for the Warlock. You got some recovery, resilience, mobility. That's a little even spread. I'd like to see more of resilience and recovery. Mass amount of strength, though. Melee kills restore health for a short time. Again, these are ones, if you're a newer player, experimenting with them the first time this way, it's not a bad way to know if it's something you want to grind after. Now, I'm not going to be your PvP expert, but for a Hawk Moon with Chambered Compensator for stability and recoil control, opening shot, and heavy grip for stability, a little less handling. Overall, um, you're not going to have as much handling, but this thing should feel pretty good on your first shot. Not a, not a bad roll, I don't think. As for Dead Man's Tail, kind of a well-rounded one. You got Corkscrew for a little bit of everything, a little stability and reload speed there, Killing Wind if you get that second kill, and then also some stability. Kind of a good well-rounded, not sure it's god tier, but it's decent. For the weapons, we're going to go pretty quick. Fire Fright, an okay roll, but kind of both PvE and PvP. You got Small Bore, Range, Light Mag, Range, Threat Detector, Focused Fury. Not a bad one, but again, it's only an okay auto rifle. Just... You know, if you don't have a decent kinetic one, it's not a bad place to start, but you could do better. For Disparity, you've got an Outlaw Headstone. If you don't have an uh, Outlaw Headstone Disparity, could be a reasonable one to tuck in the vault for a stasis build. For a sidearm with full auto, being as full auto now can just be turned on in your settings. I don't know if this is really worth it. Hip fire Grip on a bow just kills this one for me. Sorry. Quick Draw Demolitionist. Man, I wish snipers were more functional in PvE. I don't think there's this one's going to do much in PvP, though, so you can probably skip it as well. Blast Batu, possibly. Killing Wind, Rampage... Again, these perks aren't doing much for a grenade launcher. That's not what they're built for. Finally, you've got Nightwatch with Subsistence and Rampage. Not a horrible way to do a scout rifle, but you're probably going to look for something like Explosive Payload if you're going into higher level activity. For a low level activity, though, if you're running a scout rifle, this will actually serve you pretty well. For the Titan, we've got 62 with too much mobility. We've got a 57, so skip. you got a 60, which is fine, but not amazing. And a 65 that's well-rounded. If you're a newer player, 65 at least give you a good boost to all your stats. For the Warlock, you've got two you can skip and two that are okay. 62 with decent amount of recovery and discipline and intellect, not bad. 59, you can skip. A 62 with high resilience, a little bit of recovery and some strength, depending on the build, the resilience may help you. And then finally, a 63, just too much mobility, you can skip this one. Hunter's pretty mediocre. You got a pretty spiky resilience strength roll here for a Hunter. Maybe if you really need that resilience spike, maybe that one's okay. 59, you can skip. The 60, you could also skip. It's not that exciting. And a 61. Again, nothing great for the Hunter, sorry. And that's about it for Xur. Uh, as I said, I was doing the raid, so this is just a quick run through. Not my normal formatting. We'll get back to that next week. Got more things to cover in Neomuna. Got uh, at least one thing I heard changed in Neomuna, so we've got some collectibles. I will track all those down, and you guys will see that video tomorrow. Thank you guys for hanging. If you watched the stream, thank you guys for being there. All of you, if you enjoyed the podcast or haven't seen the podcast, it should be on the channel under the live section. Thank you guys. Find me on Twitter, Twitch, Eddie Bontis. If you haven't subbed yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.